All right, so I'm still working on my camera settings. Hopefully I can figure out how to make this less washed out at some point, but I'm gonna try and explain back training, the basics of it and a different way to think about it because when you're new, new to new-ish, this is by far the hardest and it's the hardest to conceptualize, it's the hardest to visualize, and it's the hardest to learn because you can't see the muscles and your back has a bunch of different functions and none of them are explicitly clear, I think to most people. Um, so hopefully I can give you a different way to think about it. And then with this information, you can use it to better structure your back days, to better structure your back movements, to get better with the movements you're doing now and just become, actually grow your back for the first time. So the way you're gonna think about it and just off the rip, the way you're gonna think is instead of thinking about wide grip, narrow grip, neutral grip, supinated, pronated, anything of that sort, instead of thinking what your hands are doing, think about what your elbow's doing, okay? If you think about where your elbow goes, depending on these movements and where your hand is, I think it will make a lot more sense. All right, so now as you go up with your elbow, you are changing, you are changing where in the back you're actually hitting, okay? So if I'm pulling down, I'm pulling into my lat, okay? My lat is job is to bring forearm, to bring elbow into my body. As I come out, that muscle is going to become less, my lat is going to become weaker in its pulling ability, okay? Because it's still, my elbow's still pulling into me, but it is also pulling away from me at the same time. As I go outward, right, my shoulder blade is going to come into play, which is gonna bring in my traps, as well as my teres. Teres runs up here. You don't really know you have a teres until you tear it. And it's what most people, anyone you've ever met that thinks they tore their lat, if they ever got it x-rayed, not x-rayed, whatever, MRI'd, they probably tore their teres. And this is actually the muscle that I think most people overdevelop rather than their lat because they don't understand where their lat is. Your lat goes much lower, much, much, much lower into your body. And when you're doing wide grip stuff for wide back, you're not hitting your lat, okay? You're gonna hit your lat no matter what, but you're not really hitting your lat. You have to pull that elbow, you have to get this in, bring it to your torso to get your lat. As you go wider, you're gonna hit more teres, more teres, more teres, teres trap, teres trap, teres trap. And the farther you go, the more it's gonna bias trap, okay? Think of the very top, the widest grip with your elbow. This is going to target your trap the most, okay? So as I come up, right, if I'm right here, Okay, lat, this is gonna be lat Terry's trap. Come up a little more, this is gonna be Terry's lat trap. Then we come here, it's gonna be lat Terry's lat. All right, hopefully I have this better set up, but what you're gonna think of as how you're gonna visualize things is that your lat with your elbow, right? We're not thinking about grip. Grip can be whatever's comfortable. We're going to think about our elbow placement and where our elbow's pulling into our body, whether it's pulling in, whether it's pulling in and out, whether it's pulling out, okay? Think of those three main ways. Any variation in between is gonna change the muscle dominance in the movement. So for our lat, our lat is gonna be anything that we pull into our torso. So this is gonna be your dumbbell rows, this is gonna be your cable rows. This lat dominant is going to be pulling into your hip into your body. It's going to be clamping this in. And this also, as an aside, if you think about like a deadlift, a rack pull, um, farmer carry, anything that is having to pull this into the body, it's also going to hit your lat exceptionally hard because that's the muscle that's actually pulling it in, okay? That's the muscle, that's the function. Your lat runs way lower than most people think and it does one thing and it pulls here, right? It keeps everything here. It is also why like pull downs and stuff, your job is to get this elbow into the body. Hold that sucker in so that if you go pick up the rock, if you go pick up the, you know, whatever you would pick up, that's what it's doing. It's keeping it tucked and making it where you're able to carry it. So lat, low, pull, low. Think of elbow, where your elbow's going, 
no matter how you like your grip, depending on whatever movement you think feels best, if you're someone who really likes a supinated grip and you like, and you want to hit your lat with it, like Dorian Yates, if you watch and if you notice the way he does his lat stuff, he is pulling in low, okay? For me, my wrists don't have the flexibility. So if I'm to do supinated stuff, what happens, and I'll try and show this, is if I'm at a pretty neutral grip, right? And I just go with this, if I pull, I'm gonna pull outward, okay? This is gonna be a lot of trap, this is gonna be a lot of terries, there's gonna be a lot of upper back, right? If I want, if I was to load this up and really try and go at it, it is very hard for me to focus this onto my lat and pull down like this. It's just not optimal for me. My wrists don't have the flexibility for it. So for me, I pre much prefer a neutral grip when doing anything for lats. Now, on the other side of that, a lot of people, one of the most common things you'll hear is to do, you know, wide grip, wide lats. And let me show you why that doesn't work. Because if I'm right here, right, and we think about what I just said, where your elbows have to pull in, all right, this is the goofiest, dumbest thing I've ever felt in my life. If I'm to go right here and pull backward, notice how much my traps and my shoulder blades are having to move to move this weight, right? This is very little lat. So from the lat, think of this, and there's really gonna be, I think of it as, to keep it simple, think of it as three and a half movements in your back, muscles in your back in their distinct movement patterns, okay? So our lat, this is the big one, this is the one that people struggle with the most because it is a much lower on the body and its function is just different than I think most people think it is. The next one's gonna be, what I think most people think their lat is, and that's gonna be their teres. Your teres runs up here, okay? Your teres is, if someone ever does a lat spread, right, like Chris Bumstead, any of these guys that have a super insane lat spread, they have a super well-developed teres. Your teres runs, so if I was, you know, better, if I was to flare my lat, right, so your teres is coming up through here. And the leaner you are, you'll be able to see when you flex it, an actual divide in, I don't know if the lighting's gonna be good enough here, but mine, my lat is here, my teres is right here, okay? And if I'm to pull forward, my teres is here up in my actual lat spread, okay? That's much higher up than most people think. My lat is from here down, okay? It's a different muscle than people think. Teres isn't talked about often, but, your teres function is what I think most people visualize, especially newer guys, is their lats job. And the wide back, wide grip, wide back isn't inherently terrible, but at the same time, if you're trying to hit your teres, if you wanna hit the upper part of your lat, as your elbow comes up, remember we're focusing on elbow, as your elbow comes up, at the midway point is when your teres is going to be the strongest out of everything. So this is gonna be pull-ups, Right, so if you're doing a pull up, you'll notice, right, you're coming, you're at a midway point with your elbows, okay? So like if I'm doing a pull up, it's the midway point. If I was to do actual wide grip, man, let's go with more of a, a neutral grip pronated row, right? This is gonna be a Terry's movement. This is gonna be my main driver here because I pull like this, right? This is gonna be mostly Terry's. Aries would be my main driver here, okay? That's your Terries. So lat, right? Lat is anything that's pulled down, low, into the hip, into the body. Terries is anything that's pulled here. The farther you go, the more your lat, the less your lat is gonna activate and the more your Terries is gonna activate. And it's kind of a nice sliding gradual scale because what you'll find is lat, okay? Lat, teres becomes more dominant, teres becomes more dominant. And then you're gonna hit a point where your elbow is flared enough, right? Again, no matter my grip, my elbow is gonna be flared enough to where my traps and shoulder blades, my upper back takes over. This is a there is a very fine line for myself on where my upper back completely dominates everything else on back movements. And 
the sooner you're able to identify when your lats are out of it, when your traps take over, the better your back is going to develop and the quicker you're gonna be able to program a proper back day for yourself. Um, so keep this in mind. So again, we're going elbows, right? If we're elbow, if we have our elbows down low, we're gonna be pulling with our lats. If we're pulling this way, our elbows are pulling down and out. We're gonna be pulling terries. If we come up, right? So if we come up and I'm pulling upward with it, my traps are going to take over, right? I hit a point where my traps take over. And I hope the lighting's good enough here to where you can see my traps are the main driver here. Your traps control, not your arm, your traps control your shoulder blade. So this is where anything that, you know, if you go like this, right, it's a much bigger range of motion than people think it is, okay? This is your traps. People talk about rhomboids, blah, 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 blah. Um, don't worry about those unless you tear one. Um, that sucks. But think of your trap as the muscle that controls your shoulder blades. And it is going to really come into play once your elbow gets up to about here. Unless you like pulling and your pulling movements to look like this, right? Notice my shoulder blade is going to have to move to get this weight into my body. So I'm going to have to pull in. Right? I have to pull in and it's going to come in like this. So my elbows flared, the more flared they become, the more my shoulder blades will have to move to be able to get the weight moving. And that's your traps. And if you think about it on this nice sliding gradual scale, it will be a lot easier to visualize. In my opinion, it's a lot easier to visualize than thinking of wide grip, narrow grip, pronated, supinated, neutral grip, blah, 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 wide back, whatever. If you think of it this way, your back and your back training will become much easier, much, much, much easier. So keep that in mind and think about that as you're setting up your back training. Now, when it comes to overhead movements, I'll just use this as another example real quick to better, hope, hopefully better visualize what's going on. Um, so Sam, and this is just to really drive the point home, okay? Superman was over here, Jesus Christ, 250. Um, so, all right, so if I'm doing pull downs, if any variation, and what I want to do, sorry, these pants, have, these pants are way too big. If I'm doing pull downs, all right, and I want to hit my lats, I personally am gonna go for a neutral grip right here. But for the show here, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'd do. So I'm gonna pull backward, I'm gonna arc my chest, I'm gonna puff up my chest, and then I'm going to pull down, okay? Again, keep the elbows tucked for lats. Elbows tucked for lats, and you're golden. And this is a movement where if for you really like the supinated, you're gonna go underhand and you're gonna pull down with the lats, okay? My wrists don't like this. For me, I much prefer my hand, my body, wants to come wider with it and it becomes a Terry's movement. Instead, if you really wanna do it this way and your arms and your wrists allow it, you're gonna pull down and you're gonna really think about pulling through the pinky and coming down to hit lat, right? Because again, you're pulling into the body for lat. For the Ooh, that was slower than I thought. Um, you're pulling down. If we go to Terry's, remember we come out a little bit and this is gonna be things so like, so like any of these medium grip attachments, right? Where you're gonna be a little bit more neutral. For me, my elbow is going to, it is impossible for me to tuck my elbow right here with any of these. It is going to pull out and it's gonna keep that more flared Terry's dominant back position, right? That's how it's gonna work for me. If I was a beginner, I would think about trying to get my equipment to match where my elbows naturally go. So that's where I'd go if I was trying to work on my terries, get more of that higher up on the lat 
area. Now, with our trap, you can still hit your trap with an overhead thing as well. Exact same thing, no different, right? We're gonna come here, we're gonna go wide with our grip, and we're gonna go out, okay? This is gonna hit your terries as well, because again, you're pulling down, you're pulling your elbow down. So if you think about it like this, on my elbow is still gonna be more tucked. So the pull down, terries is gonna be more involved, but my shoulder blades have to move. If I don't move my shoulder blades, this is what happens, right? Looks stupid, we don't really get anywhere. I have to move my shoulder blades, which is going to activate my traps. And that's it. That's all back training is. If you can simplify it to elbow position and which part of your back it's gonna hit, I think it will make your back training and your back, everything back related so much easier.